Welcome back to Twitter Titty Twisters. It's me, yours truly, the Hephaestus of Hooters, Dalton Pruitt. And I came across uh, this today, uh, an account, the Hellenist, at the underscore Hellenist over on X, formerly Twitter, uh, posted this making the claim that a pair of small uns are uh, more aristocratic than big uns. And anyway, I'm, I'm here to I'm here to dive into this one. We're looking at the Venus of Arliss, uh, not the uh, super sports agent played by Robert Wool on the HBO TV show Arliss. Uh, it's a different Arliss, I believe. Um, a sculpture that is currently on display at the Louvre in France. Ha 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 ha! Uh, made from Hymettus marble. Uh, chiseled by the sculptor Praxiteles, dating to the end of the uh, first century BC, the Hellenic period. Now, <clears throat> what we're looking at here, these are petite perkies. Um, and a look, I'll admit, a smaller bust uh, such as this is naturally more graceful than a big sloppy pair of heavy hangers. Uh, but boobies as they exist in nature were not designed to uh, they may not have been designed by anybody but certainly by design not to uh, abide by any uh society's notions of elegance or refinement no uh titties big or small titties are primal and uh motherly nurturing we are drawn to them, bug bites and bazongas alike, not because they adhere to any standards of art or beauty, but because milkers transcend uh, these concepts. They transcend interpretation. Uh, and when we strip away interpretation and language and subjectivity, and, uh, you know, focus in on the truth, we have jugs as they exist in objective reality, natural and nurturing, arousing and provocative uh, due to the fact that a pair of breasts are that which sustain life. Uh, and as all life itself is inextricably linked to, um, you know, sex. Uh, a people project their standards onto titties, but those ideals are societal constructs. They are not uh, based in any sort of truth, any sort of objective reality. Th these are subjective ideals. So while a nice set of petite perkies like these do... Uh, seemingly have more class, grace, elegance, refinement, aristocracy. That is only because uh, societies, as we have known them, have uh, projected that onto uh, titties in that way. But if we think about, uh, you know, think about it from a historical anthropological perspective, you know, these, these come from uh, the Hellenic period, ancient Greece, and uh, the, you know, the, 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 this is a, you know, what I would call a boy bosom. And it's interesting because the men of Greece at that time, uh, as we all know, certainly had, had a predilection for young boys. Uh, so, the, you know, one could make the argument, and look, I don't have a problem with a boy bosom. I like them big, I like them small, all shapes and sizes, and therefore here to for there and back and in between uh, when it comes to uh, titties. But if we're, if we're uh, you know, applying any sort of context to this sculpture, the way uh, the, these uh, boobies are re represented here, uh, you know, one could make the argument that the arist you know, aristocratic ideal of a small set such as these, uh, was given, you know, it, it, it is because, uh, the men of that time, the great thinkers and philosophers 
and high society, socialite, highfalutin folk, uh, you know, enjoyed themselves uh, some nice, young, uh, supple boys. Uh, but, you know, me, I like, a, a, you know, I certainly like adults and uh, adult uh, bosoms. Uh, anyway, 10 out of 10 wood motorboat.